Assalamu alaikum, welcome to ad hoc tutorials channel. In this ad hoc tutorial, we'll try to set up Send OS VM onto VMware Player Workstation. First, of course, you need to download software packages from the official websites. Uh, go to VMware Home, download section, and download Workstation Player. Uh, I have already downloaded the latest version and installed it and I won't go through the installation process. It's simple and pretty straightforward. So here are the files. Uh, next, you need to download CentOS image file. Uh, go to the official website. <coughs> and you need to download the minimal version from any uh, mirror you, which is suitable for you. Now let's start the VMware Workstation Player. In the home window, uh, click the Create a new VM button. Here we choose I will install the operating system later. Next, uh, Linux and CentOS 64 bit, of course. Next, let's give it a name like Ad Hoc Tutes. You could change the location as well, installation location as well. We click next. Uh, the 20 gigabytes is enough for me. And of course, I choose split option, which is a recommended one. We click next and customize hardware. Let's adjust the memory, two gigabytes. Number of cores, let's set it to four. Uh, we leave the network adapter as it is and add an additional one. Uh, here we need to choose the host only option. So this will provide the network between your PC and uh, VM. And we will establish an SSH connection through it. Connect and power on. Let's check it. Finish. We, know, we do not need sound card. Printer. And of course we need to choose the ISO image file we have downloaded. We click close, finish. Now click the play button and we'll go through the installation process. In the first window, uh, we choose the first option, install CentOS 7. Uh, by the way, the mouse option is captured by the console and to release it, you could use Ctrl and Alt buttons simultaneously. Uh, now we need to wait until the initialization process completes. Now here is the beautiful user-friendly interface. Let's choose the English. Click continue. Uh, in this window, we'll first configure the network interfaces. Uh, as you can see, there are two interfaces. The second one we have created previously, the host only network. Let's enable both of them. Also, let's uh, remember the IP address provided by the second interface. We will use it later. Also, we could specify the host name. We click apply button. We click done. And we choose the installation destination. Done. Also, we could specify the time zone. Well, my time zone is Asia. Baku, we click done and begin the installation process. Uh, in this window, we need to set the root password as well. I will specify the root password as T O O R, T O O R. We click done and done again. Uh, like it's the word root reversed back, T-O-O-R. 
Now we need uh, to wait until the installation process finishes uh, and it may take some time of course. Well, congratulations, the installation process is completed. Let's click the reboot button and log in into our newly created VM. Well, our username is ROOT and password is TOOR. Great, we have successfully logged in. First thing we need to do is to check the network status. We will use NMTUI tool, which is shorthand for Network Manager Text User Interface. Let's Let's select the activate the connection option. Uh, as you can see, the first interface is activated, but second is not enabled, so let's enable it. You click activate. We click back. Well, uh, now let's go to edit the connection menu. Here we choose the second interface, edit, and uh, here we may ensure that the automatically connect option is checked. Next, OK. Back. Also, we could change the system host name as well in this window. We click OK, quick, clear. Well, now we'll leave uh, this window and we'll try to establish an SSH connection to our newly created uh, VM. Uh, now let's ping the, this IP address and to see if our VM is available, accessible. Well, great, it's accessible. Uh, you could use any SSH tool, tool like PuTTY, for example, uh, to establish an SSH connection, but I personally prefer mRemoteNG tool. You can download it from the official website. As you can see, it's a remote connections manager. So you go to download section. You could download both uh, installable or portable version. I have already downloaded and installed it. Let's open it. Okay, now we create a new connection for our VM. New connection, let's name it CentOS at hoc. Okay, our hostname IP. Our username is ROOT and password is TOOR. Our protocol is SSH version 2. And we could, leave, we, we could leave other settings as is. And we double click it. We click yes. And ta-da! We have an SSH connection established. Uh, the first command we need to run is uh, this one. Uh, well, uh, first we will update our uh, fresh installation. This double ampersand is used to run multiple commands at once. And this Y option uh, is needed to answer all the questions, yes. So let's select it, copy, paste, so. Uh, now we need to wait until the 
update and upgrade process finishes and it may take some time depending on your installation. Now that our system software packages and all the repositories are up to date, I will show you how to install the popular network utils package. So if we type if config command, so by default it's not available in our installation and we need, uh, we will install it using this command. Actually, uh, this if config util is located in this net tools package. Copy, paste. Well, now if we type the same command again, uh, by the way, uh, we could use up arrow to display the to display the previously typed command. Well, now it shows all the available interfaces. Uh, next, I will show you how to. Uh, set the time zone settings and install the NTP service. So uh, here uh, we back up the current settings and next specify the time zone to Asia Baku. Uh, next, let's install the NTP service and uh, put it in after start list, in auto start list with this command. So now if we type the date command, it displays the time correctly for me. Uh, well, now the, our newly installed VM is ready for exploitation and you could use it for your own purposes. For example, you could set up an Apache server or Nginx or install a MySQL to it. Well, uh, the tutorial is completed and I hope it was useful for you. Assalamu alaikum.